My name is Duddy, set up builds and stuff. Today I've got a Hunter full on stasis build and it's a right wacky combo. Mask of Fealty, Icebreaker. I'm also going to be pairing it up with Shatter Dive and we're just going to be able to shatter, ignite, slow, freeze everything. This build is an absolute joke. It is so fun and it's extremely useful in all end game activities. I've tested it in everything I can and Shatter Dive actually feels really, really nice. This is one of part of the builds, Master Lost Sector. Look at that, absolutely rinsed. Before we get into the video, do me a favor, rate my drip. Let me know what you think of this bad boy. I think he looks pretty sick. Dungeon Armor from the Vespa, Vespa's Hurst. And that little red symbol looks like the operator symbol, which I find really, really cool. Whenever you're in doubt with a shader, get your new age black, uh, new age black armor shader on and that usually fixes everything so rip my drip let me know what you think we'll get into the build now mask of fealty withering blade hits and bounces create small stasis crystal and refund a portion of the melee energy using withering blade to shatter crystals or frozen targets releases a spread of withering blades so this what it does before i get into it i just want to say when you destroy a target or hit a target with the withering blade that part of it is actually bugged at the moment but it might get fixed today but it's still extremely extremely fun and extremely extremely useful you'll see there just being able to have them fan fires by hitting a crystal just releasing extra withering blades all the bounces and all the hits are going to create these little stasis crystals left right and center which is obviously excellent this season with all the stasis buffs going on Grim Harvest is the first aspect I want to pair. Defeating our slow frozen targets creates stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy, which is excellent for your Mask of Fealty. And when Grim Harvest is equipped, all of these little stasis shards that you pick up will give you frost armor. Like I said, we've got a lot of buffs in, the, in this video, all regarding shattering effects. Shatter Dive is an excellent aspect, it's sort of forgotten. Activate while midair to descend and shatter nearby targets on impact. You can do that with the withering blade uh, crystals, the stasis shards that you create there. Sorry, the stasis crystals. You can do that. I could also use your glacier grenade. But what we're going to do is stick on the icebreaker. Final blows or assists with other weapons or ability have a chance to create ammo for icebreaker. Defeating a powerful combatant will create multiple rounds. So you're constantly getting fed ammo with weapon kills, but your shatter dive and all those shattering effects are counting as ability kills, so you get loads of uh, ammo for it as well. But it's got the perk on there. Icebreaker, defeating the target with this weapon, causes them to explode. Position final blows or shattering a frozen target instead triggers an ignition. Now, when you slow or freeze, when you freeze a target, it will instantly ignite, but you can also ignite stasis crystals with this as well. So your glacier grenade or all of them little bounces from the Mask of Fealty, you're also going to be able to ignite them. And like I said, we've all got different types of buffs as well through this video for extra shatter damage, which we'll go into as we go. But basically for your glacier grenade or for your withering blade with the Mask of Fealty, cause ignitions with headshots cause ignitions on frozen targets and you're going to explode stasis crystals left right and center whether that's from your glacier grenade and all this is just extra damage obviously your mask of fairly withering blades as well whisper of fishes is really good increases the damage in the size and the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target i believe this gives you an extra 100 percent damage on shatter effects whisper of shards because Shattering the stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional stasis crystal increases the duration of this benefit. And all we're doing is just shattering crystals left, right, and center with the mask of fealty and the glacier grenade. So you got a constant uptime of your grenade. Hail the storm and brain freeze are absolutely top notch for this. Shattering stasis crystals releases shards of ice that damage and slow targets. And then the boosted version, you're going to get increased damage. From the stasis crystal shatter effects and then brain freeze just slows everything nearby this is what you could do with it use your glacier grenade or your mask of fealty as a gunpowder gamble throw it ignite it smash everything to bits slow ignitions throw your grenade throw your mask of fealty withering blade everything's getting slowed you've got shattering effects left right and center you've got ignitions going off left right and center and all the stasis shattering effects is just an absolute bonus, just added damage. 
again slurred target instant ignition absolutely crazy it's an absolutely perfect combo mask of fealty icebreaker shatter dive shatter ignitions everywhere it feels so fun now the silence and squall super is excellent for icebreaker this slurs and freezes Everything that's frozen with the icebreaker, shoot, and it will cause an ignition. So your silence and squall is just another way to put damage out on your icebreaker. And if there's anything around that target, they're just going to get absolutely blown away. I did a whole video on this particular super with a Galanor set up on an exotic class item. So you're literally getting half your super back. I'll link that video. But shard dive, blow the crystal up with your icebreaker, freeze with your withering blades and you can got multiple different ways to destroy targets so once you sort of got everything going on together there's loads and loads of different little bonuses you can use like i said using your stasis crystals as gunpowder gambles to cause massive massive shatter damage and on top of that you'll be able to slurt and freeze targets causing ignitions anything around that target is going to get destroyed and also you're doing a bit of extra damage from all the shatter effects and all them yellow numbers the ignitions all going on and you've also got grenades, grenade launchers this season to add weakening on there as well. Ignitions, I forgot to edit that bit out. I missed my first headshot, forgive me. But look at that. Instant wipe on a wave on one of the onslaughts. Go over my fragments and aspects. We've obviously gone over the aspects. Glacier grenade is really good with shard dive. You can't beat it. Loads and loads of damage and it creates quite a lot of shards. Fragments. Whisper of Shards, which we've touched on, Shattering Stasis Crystal, temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate, loads of shards everywhere. Whisper of Fishes, that with the Hill of the Storm is just an absolute mass of shatter damage on Stasis. Whisper of Hunger, increases the melee energy gained from picking up Stasis Shards. This one is really good. You get about 25% melee every time you pick one of these shards up. Whisper of Rhyme, your Frost Armor has an increased duration and maximum stat count up to 8. We get loads and loads of frost armor stacks and then whisper of conduction nearby stasis shards track to my position because after you use your shard dive they're going to come instantly to you and like i said there's just so many different ways you can play this build uh i just wanted to show you the shard dive working in the hardest difficulty lost sector against trash ads it's very very underrated this season it's absolutely great you'll see here i've even got like a arc shield there or a solar shield i think and it gets absolutely demolished so shatter dive is really really good and like i said once you've played with the build for a little bit there's loads of little different loops you can do up close you can have a shatter dive free crystal shatter them up close with the icebreaker or you could just literally just slow and freeze and get extra damage on your icebreaker just slowing and freezing now the other thing i want to talk to you about as well is the slowing and freezing stuff on stasis with this setup is so good for champions especially overloads and unstoppable your withering blade is literally an unstoppable melee instantaneously and then obviously you're going to get that shard as well so against overloads and unstoppables it's really really good uh it's just like an instant sort of proc on any of them champions really and then you're going to get all that extra damage as well and again quick shatter to have bish bash bosh and that's about seven enemies out the way Instant ignitions from all of your slowing and freezing. Extra damage. Get your glacier grenade down at a distance. Look at all them little red numbers there. All extra damage that you want to have normally. The build feels absolutely great. Like I said, it's a bit of a wacky combo, but it works so good. Let me know what you think of this video. I'll leave a dim link in the video description. I'll also leave a build card from a friend over on Twitter, Mr. Slayer God. Uh, I hope the build card helps you out. Like I said, dim link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.